at that point, at, at that point, are you thinking your life is over? I am, because I started to roll, and I had no idea how far I was going to go. I didn't know what I was going to hit. I only knew that I started to roll, and um, yeah, definitely. I thought, well, I've been born here in England, and I was very excited to come back to England. And one of the first things I thought of was like, well, I came back to England to actually die in England, and. And then I decided that was not an option. And, uh, but as I was rolling down, I just, I breathed into it. I've done a lot of deep breathing work and I just breathed into it. I knew I was gonna go. And I just tried to relax as much as possible, but it was very noisy and very scary, very scary. And then now you're at the bottom of this hill and then you're thinking, all right, who's gonna find me? How am I ever gonna get out of here? Uh, exactly, exactly, I ended up, I ended up being suspended from the seatbelt hanging upside down and I had felt all this glass kind of break onto me and I didn't know how far I had fallen and, I, and the, one of the first things I thought of was like, oh, I'm breathing, but how long is it going to take somebody to find me? I, I had no idea. That was, that was a very frightening thought. But then luck is on your side. Someone actually, some hikers in the area actually see this? Yes, they actually saw me go over. And uh, the, uh, this man, Rupert, who I've yet to talk to, I wanted to make sure I talked to him before I leave, and his son Liam were hiking in the area. And as I was hanging upside down, I could start to hear some voices in the distance yelling and screaming. And uh, that was the two of them making sound. And I guess they were running. I don't really know, but I think they were, you know, running towards, they were trying to get to me, actually. And I heard them making a lot of sound trying to get to me. So once they get to you, are they able to free you from the vehicle? No. Uh, Rupert, actually, the jack was still in the back of the car, although I guess the, the trunk lid had, had fallen off. And he took the jack of the car and he told me exactly everything that he was doing. He jacked the roof up with the jack and so he could crawl in through the back window into that space and get in the back of the I was hanging suspended like behind the passenger seat with my head down towards the ground. And I was bleeding pretty heavily. I remember I, I picked something up and put it up against my head to stop the bleeding or try to. And then he jacked up the roof and he crawled in the back and he he, he took my head in his hands and he held my head up and then he tried to stop the bleeding. Wow, what an angel. <laughs>